In this episode, we upgrade the RAM and the SSD in the Republic of Gamers Strix G18 laptop from 16 gigs to 32 gigs of RAM, and we put in a four terabyte SSD. Let's do it. Hey guys, on this episode of G-Reviews, I have my awesome ROG ASUS Strix G18 laptop with the 4080 GTX graphics card, the i9 processor. Today we're going to be upgrading a couple different pieces. Uh, we're going to be installing these GDDR5 uh, 16 gig uh, sticks for the laptop that is user replaceable. And then I'm also going to be putting in PCIe NMVE uh, SSD. This is a four terabyte version. Uh, this does have a free slot. So we're going to go ahead and put both of these uh, crucial, uh, both memory and uh, SSDs uh, in this guy on this episode of Jeerview. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take out these 11 screws from the back here and we can, uh, we'll be able to remove the panel to go ahead and install our new components. All right, here's the moment of truth. We, uh, we just took out all the screws and so we're about to pop the cover off here. Okay, there we go. There is the cover. Very, uh, very well done, of course, from Asus here. But uh, as you can see, we've got the uh, the battery here. This is a 90 watt hour battery. We have uh, three three fans. We have the the GPU, the CPU. We have the installed SSD, which is right here, the terabyte. We have our RAM slots here, which we'll go ahead and replace those in just a moment. And then we have the spare SSD slot right over here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and put the, the new SSD. It says SSD2 right there. So I'll go ahead and put that in in just a moment. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and replace the RAM. So we have the new sticks here. These are two 16 gigs each. Uh, the laptop comes with uh, two eight gigs so we'll go ahead and uh, take these guys out first and foremost so all we're really gonna need to do here is pop off these side clips as you can see it comes right out just like that put that to the side pop off the second one there we go Okay, very gently, be as gentle as you possibly can here. So as you can see, it is uh, GDDR5, it is 4800 megahertz, uh, and it's uh, eight gigs, Samsung branded memory. So we'll go ahead and put in the, the crucial memory here. And these are two 16 gig sticks each. So just like the way we took them out, we're gonna put the new ones in. So again, here we have the new RAM, 16 gigs. Put these in the exact same way. So put the bottom one in first, and you're gonna put it in and then push it down just until you hear the click. There's the first one in, and I'll put the second one in. Second one's not quite as easy to get in here for whatever reason. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why that second one was so hard to get in there, um, but it is in there. We are good to go on memory. We'll just go ahead and put this back down here. Okay, so that is the memory. We'll go ahead and slide it over and do the SSD now. So the SSD, as you can see, SSD2, there's the screw here. Uh, so you're gonna stick the uh, the PCI or the, the the basically the bus into this way and then uh, screw this little screw in the end. So I'm gonna unscrew this first. Uh, unscrew the little screw. Okay, a little tiny screw. We'll grab the grab the drive. And uh, this is a uh, four terabyte or four thousand gig card here, as you can see. Yep, four thousand gigs right here. It's awesome. So what we'll do is we're gonna stick it in this way. So we'll pick up the little shroud here. Put it in very gently just like that then we're gonna push it down into the slot and then we're gonna screw back in this little itty bitty screw doesn't have to be too tight just enough to make sure that it's in and that's definitely in and that's uh, pretty much it guys so we'll go ahead and uh, put the back cover back on we'll fire this guy up and then we'll show you how to uh, make sure that everything is installed correctly once we boot up the computer Okay, so now that we installed the new RAM and the new SSD, let's go ahead and check to make sure that everything is uh, is correct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead down here and put in a DX uh, diagnostic. I'm just gonna run it and see what we got. All right, so as you can see here, right there, we've got, it says uh, 32,000 megabytes of RAM, so that's 32 gigabytes of RAM. So that shows you uh, the RAM, which is great. Now that we know our RAM 
RAM is working, we'll go ahead and check out, uh, we have to partition the new uh, SSD. So down here, we'll go ahead and do, we'll type in disk manager. And then as you can see here, right here, we've got, this is 3,700 gigabytes uh, unallocated. So if we go ahead and click on it, do a new simple volume, let's go through the wizard here, assign whatever letter you want. It doesn't really matter to me. New volume, I'll just put, uh, storage drive you want to format it and then hit next hit finish and now we have a brand new four terabyte drive so now in the strix g18 we've got uh, a terabyte of c and we also have four terabytes of just backup storage so if we go over to our files pc it should show up and it does there you go so in this particular computer right now we have uh like i said terabyte os uh the c drive and then we also have four terabyte as backup storage for photos and uh, videos and all that good stuff so anyway scott would you have used thanks so much for watching if you have any other questions please feel free to reach out thanks so much i will have a link in the description uh for both the ram and the uh ssd thanks so much for watching